Dear friends and faithful believers, with hearts brimming with hope and gratitude, we extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to each of you gathered here today on the channel. Your presence here is a testament to the strength of our faith and the bonds of our community. It is a true blessing to come together in faith during these challenging times, where the trials we face may often seem overwhelming. In this sacred space, we find solace in one another and draw strength from the shared belief that we are never alone in our struggles. As we gather, let us take a moment to reflect on the grace that surrounds us, the love that unites us, and the purpose that drives us. Each one of us brings a unique story and a journey marked by trials and triumphs, but it is our collective faith in our Lord Jesus Christ that binds us together as one family. May the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always, guiding and comforting you in all your endeavours, filling your hearts with hope and your minds with clarity. Let us support one another, sharing our joys and sorrows, and lift each other up as we navigate the complexities of life. Together, we can cultivate an atmosphere of love, understanding and compassion, ensuring that no one feels alone or unheard. In times of uncertainty, let us be the light for one another, shining brightly with faith and encouragement. May this gathering inspire us to grow closer to Christ, fostering a deeper understanding of His Word and embodying His teachings in our daily lives. As we embark on this journey together, may we always remember that our faith is a powerful force that can overcome any obstacle. Let us continue to seek guidance from the Lord trusting in his divine plan and embracing the blessings that come our way. Together, we will rise, united in faith, hope and love, ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. As we gather in this spirit of unity, it is important to acknowledge the ongoing struggles faced by our beloved Italy, which continues to be severely impacted by inclement weather. The current storms have brought relentless rain, fierce winds, and heavy fog, prompting weather warnings to be issued in numerous regions across the country. The areas most affected include the picturesque regions of Calabria, Sicily, and Emilia Romagna, where the effects of the weather have been particularly devastating. Torrential rains have led to significant disruptions, resulting in the closure of schools, offices, and urban areas throughout various parts of Italy. In response to this crisis, Fire brigades and civil protection teams are actively engaged in emergency operations across the nation, working tirelessly to mitigate risks and safeguard lives. Tragically, some individuals have been forced to evacuate their homes, while others find themselves trapped indoors, facing restrictions on movement due to the heavy rains and thunderstorms, particularly in Sicily. In the province of Agrigento, the situation in Licata has reached critical levels as the Salso River overflowed its banks. In light of this alarming development, civil protection and the fire department swiftly ordered the urgent evacuation of all nearby residences. Meanwhile, some drivers, unexpectedly caught in the floodwaters, sought refuge on the roofs of their vehicles, anxiously waiting for assistance. In a decisive move, the mayor of Licata, Angela Balamo, has mandated the closure of schools, homes and gardens in the area to ensure public safety. An emergency phone number has been activated to provide support to those in need. In the heart of Catania, the streets have transformed into rushing rivers, exacerbated by rainwater runoff from the nearby Mount Etna. The floodwaters have inundated roadways, submerging them almost to the level of the sidewalks creating a perilous environment for residents. The city's dedicated fire department has already conducted over 50 rescue operations in Catania and its surrounding areas, illustrating their unwavering commitment to public safety. In Mr. Bianco, on Piano Mandria Street, heroic divers from the fire department intervened to rescue several drivers who found themselves trapped in their cars amidst the rising waters. Additionally, numerous trees have fallen or sustained damage in various parts of the Sicilian province, further complicating the situation. 
In Rondazo, local firefighters responded promptly to address fallen pine trees that had damaged several parked vehicles. In light of these challenges, the president of the region, Renato Schifoni, is maintaining close communication with civil protection teams throughout Sicily. He has assured the public that the region will continue to closely monitor the situation, aiming to provide the utmost support to the communities grappling with this emergency. In many municipalities across Calabria, classes have been suspended as a precautionary measure, with the Civil Protection Department issuing an orange alert that has resulted in the closure of schools in Cotonzaro, Crotoni, Vibo Valencia, and several other towns in the province. In the province of Vibo Valencia, a dedicated fire brigade team responded to the overflow of the Krill stream, which resulted in flooding along the road connecting the Porto Salvo district to Vibo Valencia. Thankfully, current reports from the fire department indicate that the situation is under control, with no critical incidents having been reported, as homes are situated at a safe distance from the immediate danger. However, in the province of Cotonzaro, a landslide occurred, causing partial subsidence of a section of SP26, a vital road linking the municipality of San Pietro Magisano with the village of Vincolis in Magicano. While the wave of adverse weather has undoubtedly caused traffic disruptions, fortunately, no severe damage has been reported thus far. Regrettably, meteorologists have now warned that the storms are projected to persist for an additional 48 hours, raising concerns about the heightened risk of further flooding and landslides. In response, the Italian Civil Protection Department has issued a red alert in several regions, urging residents to remain indoors and to avoid any unnecessary travel, particularly in Liguria, Emilia Romagna and Tuscany. Bologna has also faced significant challenges, with reports indicating that 90 rescue operations were conducted, including the urgent evacuation of three families isolated due to the overflow of the Salaro River. As we reflect on these events, let us come together in prayer for all those affected, seeking strength and solace from our Lord. May we also remember to support one another in these trying times, as our faith and community will help us endure and overcome the challenges ahead. Transportation disruptions persist across the nation as several vital roads and highways have been rendered impassable due to extensive flooding and debris accumulation. In particular, rail services in and around the cities of Genoa and Florence have faced significant delays or outright suspensions as submerged or blocked tracks from recent landslides create hazardous conditions for travellers. This situation has been especially acute in Genoa and its neighbouring areas where the rising waters have trapped many individuals in their vehicles and inundated the lower floors of homes. Reports indicate that around 100 rescue interventions have taken place with severe impacts observed in towns like Ripallo, Chiavari and Sestri Levante. In these moments of crisis, the dedication of firefighters and rescue teams shines brightly as they work tirelessly to save residents and prevent further casualties. Their bravery and commitment to service reflect the teachings of Jesus, who called us to love and serve our neighbours in times of NEED. In Emilia Romagna, authorities are closely monitoring several rivers, including the Reno and the Ponara, as their water levels continue to surge. There is a growing concern that if the relentless rain does not subside soon, further breaches could lead to even greater devastation. In rural areas, residents are taking measures to protect their homes by using sandbags. However, the overwhelming volume of rain makes these efforts increasingly challenging. The community spirit, reminiscent of the early days of the church, is evident as neighbours come together to support one another in these trying times. Temporary shelters have been established in schools and community centres, providing refuge for evacuees, particularly the elderly and families with small children 
who are particularly vulnerable during this crisis. Local businesses, especially in coastal towns, have endured heavy losses due to flood damage, leading to many shops, restaurants and hotels remaining closed. This situation poses a significant threat to the local economy, particularly the tourism industry, which is vital for many communities. Environmental experts are also raising alarms about the long-term consequences of this extreme weather. Reminiscent of the parables, where Jesus spoke of the wise man who built his house upon the rock. The extensive flooding has caused pollution from industrial sites and farmland to seep into rivers and water supplies, creating a ripple effect of concern across the region. In Tuscany, in particular, there are mounting fears about contamination as chemicals and agricultural runoff threaten to compromise drinking water SOUCES. Amidst this unprecedented crisis, the Italian government is taking decisive action by mobilizing additional resources to assist local authorities in the regions that have been hit the hardest by the ongoing natural disasters. This includes not only financial aid and supplies, but also military support, which is crucial for effective rescue operations and infrastructure repairs. Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney has been particularly vocal about her concerns regarding the increasing frequency and intensity of extreme weather events, a trend that has become alarmingly common in recent years. She emphasizes the urgent need for comprehensive and long-term improvements to Italy's infrastructure, arguing that such measures are vital for better preparedness and resilience against future climate-related DISASTERS. As rescue operations and recovery efforts continue to unfold, authorities are working around the clock to ensure the safety of residents and to provide necessary aid to those affected. In light of these challenges, officials are urging the public to remain vigilant, emphasizing the importance of staying informed and closely following official updates, as the storms show no signs of abating. It is during times like these that community solidarity and collective action become more essential than ever, as neighbors support one another in the face of ADVERSITY. In these trying times, let us turn our hearts and prayers to Jesus, who serves as a beacon of hope and strength for many across the world. In his infinite wisdom, he reminds us of the profound importance of faith, hope and compassion qualities that can uplift us during even the darkest moments of our lives. As we face adversity, let us remember that it is in our connection to him and to one another that we find solace and guidance. May we be inspired to extend our hands and hearts to help those in need, embodying the spirit of charity and community that Jesus exemplified during his time on EARTH. Let us actively seek out opportunities to support our neighbors and lend a listening ear to those who feel isolated or burdened. In doing so, we can cultivate an environment where love flourishes and where every individual feels valued and heard. As we navigate these challenges together, let us seek solace in our faith, drawing strength from our shared beliefs and the understanding that we are all part of a larger family. In unity, we find resilience. Together, we can weather this storm, emerging stronger and more compassionate in its wake. Each act of kindness, no matter how small, can create ripples of hope that touch the lives of those around us. Let us remember that our faith is not only a source of comfort, but also a call to action, a reminder that we are called to be instruments of peace and love in a world that so desperately needs IT. As we face the uncertainties ahead, let us hold fast to the promises of our faith, trusting that with Jesus guiding us, we can overcome any obstacle and inspire others to do the same. Together, let us be the light that dispels darkness, offering hope and encouragement to all who cross our PATHS.